big fish in a small pond. Wills and Kate's popularity skyrockets while Has and Meg plummet not a surprise. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have plummeted in the latest polling of the British public, a trend one royal expert described as not surprising given the couple's recent controversies. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have plummeted in the latest poll ratings among Britons, according to a bombshell mail on Sunday survey. Discussing the ratings, former royal editor of The Sun Charlie Ray said it was not surprising to see Harry at zero, while Meghan slumped to minus 70 net approval. The poll of 1,567 British adults was carried out by Delta Poll between December 23rd and 30th. Harry's brother Prince William fared much better in the eyes of the British public, as he scored a plus 55 net approval rating. The Queen led the royals with plus 60, Kate Middleton had a plus 47 net approval rating, and Princess Anne took fourth place with plus 39. Prince Charles was at plus 25, while Duchess Camilla was only at plus 5. Following years of scandal and controversy, Prince Andrew was rock bottom in the poll with minus 50 net approval. Discussing the ratings, talk radio host Christo Forfers said, I want to do some of these royal ratings. The Queen is on plus 60, William and Kate are on plus 55 and plus 47 respectively, so really good ratings. Even Princess Sam is on plus 39. I love Princess Sam because she just gets her head down and gets on with it, really hard working. Interestingly, Harry and Meghan are on 0 and minus 17 respectively. Not a surprise. But Charles is only on 25, and Camilla is only on 5. Charles is behind Anne, Kate, William and the Queen and yet he is the heir to the throne. Is that a cause for concern? Mr. A responded, Charles and Camilla have been behind Kate and William for some time. But Camilla is liked among the royals. Camilla is now being rewarded by the Queen by the honour of the Garter, which is a high-profile award. She has become a very important part of the top echelon of the royal family. Earlier this week, Buckingham Palace announced that Duchess Camilla has been appointed a Royal Lady of the Order of the Garter, the most senior order of knighthood in the British honours system. The Order of the Garter is personally chosen by the monarch to honour those who have contributed to national life or personally served the Queen. Christo Forf has also suggested that public sympathy for Charles would skyrocket when he becomes king, due to a depth of feeling in the wake of the Queen's passing. Camilla and Charles celebrated Christmas with the Queen at Windsor Castle. The royal family are currently gearing up to celebrate the Platinum Jubilee in February. There may be big plans on the horizon for Harry and Meghan, travel plans, that is. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex are expected to return to the United Kingdom this spring, according to royal experts. Prince Harry, and likely his family, will travel to Europe in May for the Invictus Games. At the event, which was founded by Harry, wounded or ailing soldiers and veterans compete in adaptive parasports. The last two years' events have been postponed because of the pandemic, and the next games are scheduled to happen in the Netherlands from May 29 to June 5. Since they're scheduled to travel to the continent anyway, Daily Mirror Royal editor Russell Myers speculated on the podcast Pod Save the Queen, it only makes sense that the Sussexes would visit the UK as well. I think that that's probably a fair bet to say that we may see them in the springtime next year, Myers said.